It was summer when I first came here and I was learning how to drop then. But now that I've learned how to drop and go up, up to this height, I'm really stuck dropping on stuff. <laughs> I just kept on jumping over stuff and dropping from them. It was kind of... I'm kind of a little bored now because it's the only thing that I can do. And every time I ride my bike, there's pretty much nothing else I can do. So today I'm going to be learning uh, two additional tricks. I'm going to be learning roll up. So I have to pedal and then pedal and then pedal kick up to an obstacle. I call it pinahapak. You run into a curb and then you just bunny hop and slap over it. Slap on it like that. So I call it pinahapak. It's going to be my first time to actually practice it seriously. One more trick would be pedal kicking up and then landing with my front tire first. So from the side, I'm going to be jumping up and then front wheel first and then back wheel. Serious practice today. I really have to add stuff that I can do. So let's go. It is so cold right now. It's six degrees. I can't feel my fingers. I can't feel my toes. That's really a dangerous thing. We gotta warm up. It's so cold. I cannot feel my fingers. It's really dangerous. So I've tried riding flatland uh, about this time of the year. Last year, I ended up spraining my ankle and I didn't realize how bad it was until I've actually started feeling my, my ankles. My right ankle. Ligament was torn. That's how bad it was. Oh, oh I forgot to break it. It is really dangerous. I could have fallen on my back right there. Oh. Actually, that's pretty much all I can do with, with an obstacle like this. I can even hop up, turn my bike 90 degrees and put my front wheel down. I can't even do that yet. Why don't I try? Let's go. Oh, I still have this, this panic feeling when I just got on top of something. I panic and it makes me feel like immediately going down. It makes me feel like I want to go down right after I get on top of something. I gotta get used to staying on the top oh, I can't rotate I can't rotate I'll try it on flat ground oh, I can't rotate oh, I can do that I don't think that is how you should do it because I got used to moving my back wheel I got to move the front wheel away from the center, not my back wheel. Oh, that's just rough. Can't do it yet. Not yet. But one thing I got to try to do today is up to front and roll ups. Let's go. I think I want to try my roll ups, my first roll ups on these tiny curbs. I should do a short wheelie just to lift the front end and then do a bunny hop and then aim the back tire to the obstacle. I think that's the most difficult part. I've gotten so used to doing bunny hops that when I try to bunny hop, in my mind, I'm always like trying to put the bike over the obstacle, not aim my back wheel to the curb. So I have to unlearn bunny hopping on top of it. I have to aim the back wheel to the obstacle. <laughs> I just gotta get ready with my brake. Aim the back wheel, aim the back wheel. I'm still bunny hopping. I have to unlearn that. I'm trying to get used to the distance first. Ok, 
Okay. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'll try to move to a higher obstacle now. I think the higher obstacle will make me want to seriously maintain the front wheel up. Because if it's just flat like this, I don't have any motivation to keep the front wheel up. To the bench, let's go! Okay, so I should be, I should start gapping from here, about here. Ah, so many things to consider. <laughs> It's different, it's totally different than just an almost flat, short and flat little curb. I haven't tried bailing out from this yet, so maybe after that happens, I could learn faster. Oh. If I fall too, I'll be falling here, like this. Oh shit. I'm gonna be falling like that. I hope not. Oh. Oh. Ah, scary. It is scary. Uh -huh. I was hesitating to jump. I should not hesitate. Uh -huh. Scary. Let's look for a smaller curb now. I need to practice the timing of, of the wheelie. You know what? I've had enough of this. I'm going to the bench. Let's go. I told myself I'd be practicing the lunge. I haven't practiced it yet, not even once. Hop, please, hop. I'm kind of afraid to launch myself. Let's go. Come on, face your fears. I told you that would happen. I'm gonna set slow motion. This is gonna eat up my space. So, I really have to, to do it. Oh, I jumped. I tried, I tried, I tried. Oh, finally, I was able to jump. It doesn't feel so bad. It's just the timing. Once you're up, it doesn't feel bad. What feels so unnerving is trying to calculate the distance. Okay, I need to add more power. <laughs> okay, I finally jumped. A big part of the nervousness has to be gone by now. Okay, more kick. More vertical power. Yeah, I'm getting used to jumping. Oh, I jumped too soon. Don't hesitate. <laughs> Bailing from an obstacle this shallow, I mean this high, not so high, is, is good because all the nervousness are starting to, starting to go away. Jump higher! Jump higher! Oh. <laughs> it happened again! That's what happens when you hesitate. I keep on hesitating. Let's go! <laughs> yes! I got it for the first time! I was so focused on 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 the height so i wasn't able to see where i took off from <laughs> lucky first oh. <laughs> i got up okay hapak hapak <laughs> I gotta rest. Suddenly there's mental block. I'm taking a break right now. Whew. You know what? 
This is what I love so much about trials. You don't need to go anywhere far just to exercise. Oh. If only I could collect all my sweat, I could drink it back again. <laughs> I'm just 20 minutes in to my session. You know, if I've been lifting weights, I wouldn't be able to sweat like this. Break time's over. Focus. <laughs> okay. My fear of pedal kicking upwards. It shall be gone. Yes. Aim the back wheel, okay? So, I've always been focusing on my front wheel, keeping it up that I forget about my back wheel. I should be thinking about the back wheel, aiming it here, rather than my, my front wheel up. There we go, there we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Now I just gotta get higher. I really love the feeling. It feels so good when you when you smash onto something. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, I just gotta work on going on top. Almost. I got it! <laughs> Finally, it came around! That was perfect. At least to me. <laughs> Happy with that. I want to do it again just to make sure I just didn't get lucky. Be careful with your ankle. Okay, I'm getting used to where I have to take off. Oh. <laughs> Focus, come on. I got it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. I guess I could say that I have dialed the trick. I haven't mastered it yet, far from it, but I've gotten it. I've gotten how it feels like, I've gotten the distance. From now on, I'm gonna be working on consistency for this and then add more height as I go on. Okay, one more trick I have to learn today would be the lunge. I wanna be able to lunge on something this tall. I wanna do this trick. It looks easy, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do it today just once just one lucky lunge up here let's go I have to lift the bike from this position to this position okay that's just that's just difficult all the time I was doing this I was holding on to the brakes I was locking both wheels and I just discovered that I shouldn't do that and I have to add in a little bit of pedal kick, a little bit, a tiny bit, because I've seen the other riders do that, and I can see that their foot, their, their strong foot, is kicking a little bit. So I think I have to do that. But it's gonna be more difficult as I go up higher, because the bike is gonna be like this. And the space, the space for kicking the tire here is blocked by the obstacle. So that's gonna be more tricky. But today, I'm just gonna try to do what I can on a one foot tall obstacle. <laughs> that was a lucky shot. When I started to kick up, when I started to hop, I released both brakes. And it made a lot of difference. 
<laughs> See? It's like as if you can only jump a little bit and you gotta move a lot. You gotta transfer the bike. You gotta shift the bike upwards. All right, I gotta hurry this up because I still have one trick I have to practice today. The hop to front. <sighs> Okay, one more lunge, one more perfect lunge, and then I'm gonna practice hop to front. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I got it. Now it's time for hop to, hop to front. Hop to front! It's my first time to do this. Really, really my first time because it's scary. <laughs> I just got it on my first try. <laughs> How did I do that? First try. Okay. I feel confident doing it because I could I could bunny hop this high. I'm curious to see if this was a lot higher that I could that I could static hop on to. I want to try that one. It's not so difficult after all. So one thing that I noticed is that this is the obstacle and I have to be like this, angled like this to do it. I don't know how to side hop yet. I'll probably be able to learn that along the way. But today, I'm just psyched. I think I have to try this on a higher obstacle. Let's go. Wow, just look at the trees behind me. It's so beautiful. It's just that the fruit of that tree stinks like shit. <laughs> but it looks so cute and beautiful. The reason why I wanted to, to learn hop to front is because of, because of obstacles like this. As it gets higher, it's gonna bump here. So I couldn't preload much. So I wanted to do hop to front to get up okay it's high it's kind of like a side hop now <laughs> oh, that was scary that was scary <laughs> okay, that's how it is, but it's different when I have to hop. I have to hop. I gotta hop all my way upwards and then try to land. I can't do it yet. Not this high yet. I can definitely do it from this height. I want to do it there someday. I think it's just too much for me right now. I mean, I just got the trick. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm done for the day. I'm happy with today. Roll up, lunge, and hop to front. Bye.